basic, applied, which of these types of research is best to use for your study? Hello, SciPals! I am Ma Marga Calvendra, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hab, we are going to discuss the different types of research. We will describe and differentiate the types of research from the viewpoint of application, objectives, and type of information sought. Furthermore, we are going to appreciate the importance of these types of research in different fields of study. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another ah uh, moment. According to Grinnell, research is a structured inquiry that utilizes acceptable scientific methodology to solve problems and creates new knowledge that is generally acceptable. It is essential to human's existence to keep abreast with the continuous technological advancement, fast-changing environment, ever-evolving competition, and even, to some extent, a mean for survival. The type of research is dependent on the researcher's aim in conducting the study and the extent to which the findings will be used. The types of research may be divided into three viewpoints. Application, Objectives, and Type of Information sought. Let us first have the types of research in terms of application. The first one on this viewpoint is basic research. This is also called as fundamental research or pure research. It is a type of research approach that is aimed at gaining a better understanding of a subject, phenomenon, or basic law of nature. This type of research is primarily focused on the advancement of knowledge rather than solving a specific problem. Basic research can be carried out in different fields with the primary aim of expanding the frontier of knowledge and developing the scope of these fields of study. For example, it may seek to investigate how the universe began, describe the composition of protons, neutrons, and electrons, explain how slime molds reproduce, and determine the specific genetic code of fruit fly. Next is the applied research. This type of research involves seeking new applications of scientific knowledge to the solution of a problem, such as development of a new system or procedure, new device, or new method in order to solve the problem. Applied research can be an evaluation research, research and development, or an action research. Examples of applied research may investigate ways and means to improve agricultural crop production, treat or cure specific disease, improve the energy efficiency of homes, offices, modes of transportation, and suggest innovative and modified methods of measurement in any specific investigation. The second viewpoint on the types of research is the objectives. There are four types of research under this viewpoint. First is explanatory research. It is carried out to identify the scope and nature of cause and effect relationships. It focuses on analyzing a specific situation or problem to explain the patterns of relationships between variables. 
an explanatory research is an attempt to establish preliminary work that will lead to future studies or to determine if what is being observed could be explained by a currently existing theory. This type of research uses methods such as literature search, an in-depth interview, and focus groups. Explanatory research is immensely valuable to social research. It is vital when an agent is breaking new ground and allows the researcher to address such problems where no research has been done. Second is descriptive research. It aims to accurately and systematically describe a population, situation, or phenomenon. It can answer what, where, when, and how questions, but not why questions. A descriptive research can use a wide variety of research methods to investigate one or more variables. The researcher does not control or manipulate any of the variables, but only observes and measures them. A descriptive research may involve surveys, observations, and or case studies. Descriptive research is an appropriate choice when the research aim is to identify characteristics, frequencies, trends, and categories. It is useful when not much is known yet about the topic or the problem. Next is correlational research. It is a type of non-experimental research in which the researcher measures two variables and assesses the statistical relationship between them with little or no effort to control extraneous variables. It can be used to describe the strength and direction of the relationship between two variables. And if there is a relationship between the variables, then the researchers can use scores on one variable to predict scores on the other using a statistical technique called regression. Correlation is also used to establish the reliability and validity of measurements. Correlational studies typically have low internal validity because nothing is manipulated or controlled but they often have high external validity. Since nothing is manipulated or controlled by the experimenter, the results are more likely to reflect relationships that exist in the real world. Lastly, exploratory research is the process of investigating a problem that has not been studied or thoroughly investigated in the past. In exploratory research, the process of the research varies according to finding of new data or insight. Exploratory type of research is usually conducted to have a better understanding of the existing problem, but usually does not lead to a conclusive result. Also referred to as interpretative research or grounded theory approach, the outcomes of this research provide answers to questions like what, how, and why. Some of the research methods used in exploratory research include observations, surveys, interviews, focus groups, literature, online sources, and case study. Moreover, this type of research is often used in trend analysis, criminal investigation, and in the research and development of a product. Finally, let us now have the types of research in terms of type of information sought. Under this viewpoint, we have two, quantitative and qualitative research. Quantitative research is an objective, systematic, empirical investigation of observable phenomena through the use of computational techniques. It highlights numerical analysis of data hoping that the numbers yield unbiased results that can be generalized to some larger population and explain a particular observation. Simply, 
quantitative research is concerned with numbers and its relationship with events. Descriptive research and correlational research are some examples of quantitative research. Quantitative research has proven its importance not only in the teaching profession but as well as in the different academic strands like ABM, STEM, and UMS. Likewise, this type of research is important in natural and social sciences, behavioral, and health sciences. On the other hand, qualitative research is inductive and aims to explore new things, insights, generate theories, patterns, themes, and hypotheses. Its design can be flexible, adaptable, can evolve over time, and can also be emergent. The sample size tends to be smaller in qualitative research and the data saturation can be reached quicker. Also, the researcher can be considered an actual instrument in qualitative research and their own biases and opinion can influence the data collection because they determine the questions to guide interviews and set the tools to be utilized then observe the whole process and recognize the patterns. Moreover, qualitative research can also provide rich and detailed descriptions of human behavior in the real-world context in which it occurs. The analysis utilized in qualitative research is iterative. A report or transcript can be read many times. A video can be watched several times to draw conclusions and highlight key terms. Data reporting in qualitative research is done by the language of the researchers and their interpretation, which means that if the same study was repeated, we might get different results. Qualitative research originated in the disciplines of anthropology and sociology but is now used to study many psychological topics as well. It can also be used in generation and development of new products and services as well as in marketing strategies. Ah! Researches as to the viewpoint of application Objectives and type of information sought can be utilized across various fields of study including education, psychology, natural and social sciences, and medicine to name a few. The application of such researches helps society to gain new knowledge, insights, and information that leads to discoveries and innovations towards the overall progress of mankind. Ah. In this episode of Agham Alam Hab, we have learned the different types of research based on the viewpoints of application, objectives, and types of information sought. We learned that the types of research in the viewpoint of application are basic research and applied research, while the types of research based on the viewpoint of objectives are explanatory, descriptive, correlational, and exploratory research. On the other hand, the types of research based on the type of information sought are quantitative and qualitative research. Finally, we have appreciated the importance of these types of research in different fields of study. Ah! That's all for today, Saipals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another Ah uh, Moment. Only here in Agham Alam Hab, Palajan's SciTech Portal. Bye!